everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Rickety Games. I'm Sydney, and today we are back with the Fears to Fathom series. This is episode two, and it's called the Norwood Hitchhike. I only can imagine what that is. The first one was a very short, kind of sweet thing. It was kind of daunting. I was expecting more to happen, but I like that it's a slow burn and that it's about the realism. It's about anticipating what could happen in these very real situations that did actually happen. So with all that, let's get into it. I also like that you don't know what the stories are as before, right? Like you get into it, it like, the story unfolds for us just as much as it does for the person who had lived it. Episode two, Norwood Hitchhike, June 16th. So what's the story? This happened to me when I was 19. I'm a little over 21 now. I still remember this very clearly because of how creeped out I felt. I was a bit hesitant to write this out for the internet at first, but getting it out may help even just a little bit. I think that second thing they said in the first one too, like people are afraid to share these stories, but they might get some help from it. I was one of those people that loves gaming conventions. I'd go to every convention I get the chance to, and sometimes even meet some of my online friends. Though my parents weren't always thrilled at the idea of me going on interstate drives, but a plane ticket would have been too expensive. This convention I was at went great, and now it was the day to drive back home. But when I set off, I soon realized the traffic was horrible. I decided that I'd take the long way to avoid traffic. It was a little over 12 hour drive. Ooh. How long, how many hours would traffic have added to if you're willing to take a 12 hour drive. Oh. Just chilling. Driving at night is really therapeutic for me. Well, at least it used to be. Uh, should I read the text message? Oh my goodness. You gotta do what you gotta do. That's it. I'm rerouting here. Whoa there, hang on a second. Before I crash into like everything. Uh, let's go back up, see a little bit more. You called? Yeah, I think I'm going to that convention. Can I get your car for like five days please? With who, Aiden? The internet friend? He's a nice guy. No, you're not going on a 10 hour drive. <laughs> I just got killed. That's what I get for texting and driving. Whoops. Okay, there we go. Car is stopped. Uh, all right, let's read the top of this. Uh, you called? Yeah, I think we need to go to that convention. Can I get your car for like five days, please? With who? Aiden? Aiden? The internet friend? Yeah, he's a nice guy. No, you're not going on a 10-hour drive by yourself. Well, I've already made up my mind. I'll drive you. Why don't you understand anything? Let's talk when I get home. Drive safe, Holly. Don't forget to call me. You got it, Dad. In Williams. Anything else? Leaving now. Drive safe. Okay, and then this is the friend that we went with, that we met over the internet. Uh, Discord, we got ticks, so I'll see if I can get the car. Let you know, finally going to take uh, Milo on a walk. Uh, okay, the plan is on, hell yes. Uh, wait, you're getting the car? Yep, big girl. You sure Ash can't come? I'll get the skateboard too. Saw this really cool skate park, sounds fun. Discord, where are you? Almost there, I don't see you, peach shirt? It was fun. I had a good time. Thanks for joining me. Smiley faces. Are you sure you're driving all the way back? I don't really have a choice now, do I? Could have left tomorrow morning. Okay, give me a call when you reach back your... Okay, Dad. I'll be, uh, not sure if it'll be this lifetime, though. What do you mean? Stuck in the biggest traffic jam of the country. That sucks. Uh, it's not too good here, either. I think it's the people from the convention? That's it. I'm rerouting here. You gotta do what you gotta do. Okay, and that's where we left it. Okay. We won't get killed. <laughs> this time. So driving in it is therapeutic, or at least it used to be. So what happened on this drive? So we got a 12 hour drive. The car handle's a little wacky. Yeah. Don't beat me. Can I beat back? Oh my god. What's with all the text messages while I'm driving? Stop the car. Where did 
you reach still about six hours away from the city got stuck in a jam ah okay so we're halfway through the drive then that's good to know and on we drive He drives so janky. Oh no, we're out of gas. Near halfway through the drive, I realized I was low on gas. If you're going on a long drive, you need to make sure, especially through the woods. Ugh. Ma'am. We need a gas station. Good God, the text messages. Is there a gas station somewhere? Oh my god. Stop texting me while I'm driving. Why can't you call me? <gasps> was that a person? That was a person. That was for sure a person. Oh, gas station. Where's my gas on this side? Hopefully it's on this side. I told you to take that flight. Oh, Holly, it's gonna be late when you reach back. Hope you're feeling all right. Yeah, yeah. Too expensive. Gas is on the other side. <laughs> I parked like 10 miles away. <laughs> no gas? Do I need to pull into like a specific spot? They want you to do it exactly the way that they did it. Norwood gas station. Automotive fuel. I'm sure it's totally not creepy at all. Go in? Oh, there we go. Clicky click. Okay. I'm so used to like pressing E or something for like uh, interactive. Buy a Coke? Why not? Cola process. Oh, my mom. I'm getting a Coke, mom. One second. Consume. Could use the caffeine. Holly? Mom? So odd. Got some wine. We don't want that. Blue shirt. Hello, I need gas in my car. Can I get $10 on pump two? At least we got gas, that's good. You heading to the bridge by yourself? Huh? The Norwood Valley Road, I mean. Not a lot of people head down there this time of year. Be careful. Thanks. I'm not joking, ma'am. Be careful. It's not safe out there. For about a century now, many people have been going missing down there. Oh, good. And people who went looking for them never returned. How comforting. Locals say the Norwood Valley monster had torn them up and hung them upside down on trees. What the fuck? Cool. Uh, thanks for the gas. Yeah, I didn't need that. And one more thing, sir. If you see a woman in a white or blue gown trying to get a ride, do not stop. Absolutely, just step on the gas as hard as you can. Who is she? Some people say that she died in a car accident there on the prom night. Some say that she seeks vengeance after she was murdered there. That's a common tale. Regardless, she's out for blood. Whatever you do, never, ever, under any circumstance, pick up a hitchhiker. You don't have to tell me twice. Those people out there on the road putting their thumbs out, they ain't what you think, ma'am. No shit. They just ain't. Noted, sir. Will not pick up any hitchhikers. Who's near my car? What is it, mom? 
Uh, I don't know if you'll find any shop at this hour, but we're out of dog food. Could you get something for Milo? I'll pay you back. Does mom not know that I went to this convention? I'm not like in town. I would hope that mom knows. Okay, we need pump two. So which one is that? Two, that one. Okay. I'm assuming we want this side. Turn, for the love of Lord. Okay, come on, car. We can do it. We can do it. We can do it. Yay! Okay. Hopefully, we're okay. I don't know where our gas tank is, but it's. I think they'll do it. I filled the tank and was off to the road again. Nice. There's no tank on this side, and there's no tank on this side either. So, it's a magical car. Let's hope it keeps us safe. Since my mom asked, I had to buy something for Milo from the store. Oh. Gotcha. We need dog food. Or what I assume would be dog food. Dog food. Dog food. They usually have like a small bit of like pet stuff. Do you have any dog food? You got pump too? Thanks. Yes. I need dog food. Ah, dog food. Throw. Can I throw it at him? <laughs> Five dollars. Thank you. Nice and convenient. All right, got dog food, got gas. Should be good for six hours, right? I just throw this in the car or what? <laughs> okay. I should just, I could just put that in the trunk. I did! <laughs> Let's, uh, there we go. <laughs> okay, whatever. <laughs> I was trying to get it in there so it was fine. But, it's fine. Okay, party time. Yeah, baby. On the road again. At least there's no anomalies to come kill us, you know what I mean? No instability. Being on the road, you do realize a thing. Monsters truly do exist. And every single one of them looks just like you and me. Oh lord. Yeah, people are monsters. Mom? It's not expired or anything, right? Surprisingly, there was dog food at the gas station and you don't need to pay me for it. That's fine. Oh, excuse me. Why'd my lights go out? Is it because I'm going up a hill? That was a bit weird. I think it's like to put your brights down, but it turned my whole, all of my lights off. The VHS filter, like the graininess does not, oh no, 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 no. No, there's something wrong with my lights doesn't help. It's creepy. Is that another car in front of me? Oh! That's not safe at all. If we're having trouble like this... We should go back to the gas station or something. I can't see shit. I can't see shit! another car comes up on me, I'm gonna be screwed. Oh my god, I can't hate that. I'm like, trying to deal with not dying on the road, man. <laughs> also, the car turns like a boat. Or like a bus or something like it it just it does it's not fluid the w <laughs> 
Well, we're cruising. It's very creepy, I will say. Uh, what am I running over? Oh, is this a bridge? Good lord. Good lord. This is creepy. <gasps> I'll admit I was a terrible driver. Oops. Sorry, don't look out the window. Noted. Say so run into the guardrail. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, I wasn't the best at driving. Sorry. Sorry. I'm trying to make space on the on the on the thing, you know, in case another car comes. Oh my goodness. The graininess of everything does not help me see the road either. Oh my god, stop with the lights. Oh, it's so awful. Before the story can even happen, <laughs> bitch is gonna flip her car, man. Haven't seen any creepy women in white. Oh, there's a car there, though. No hitchhikers. What was. Oh, okay, no bunnies. What is that noise? It's creepy, man. No, 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 no. Oh, it's a stressful drive, Jesus. I've done drives like this, too. Uh, there's this very weird thing about that night. I saw two big logs in the middle of the road blocking my way ahead. And what do I do about that? Don't, don't get out of the car. It was almost as if someone had deliberately put those there. Yeah, I'm sure they did. Don't get out of the fucking car. Have you ever heard of an ambush before, woman? Those were heavy. Should be enough, right? That is enough. We leave, get back in the fucking car. Oh, you are so lucky, ma'am, that nothing. What the heck? Uh oh. The car wouldn't start back up. Oh, fuck. Oh, no. This is where you call your parents. Call AAA. Just like that, I was stranded in the middle of nowhere with no phone service. I'm not saying that I was starting to believe whether the bullcrap at the gas station clerk pulled. Whatever the- oh. But I would be lying if I didn't feel the slightest of unease. Well, of course. I mean, I didn't mean to sound like a cliche horror story, but... Throughout my life, I would not take rides from strangers. I was told not to take rides from strangers. But at this moment, I had no choice. Bullshit you do! Fucking walk back to the gas station. I was scared to think how long it would take for someone to pass. Oh god. Oh no. 10.23 p.m. Okay. Someone's gonna pull up. I saw a car nearing. Pure evil. I didn't understand how someone could even love a human being stranded like that. <laughs> My dog food. Ten forty three PM. Like twenty minutes later or something like that.
Mint truck. <gasps> he pulled over. Oh god. Can you give me a jump? Oh, is this such a bad idea? This is a bad idea on like 6,000 motherfucking levels. Go back to the gas station. Just walk. Lock your car. Ugh. <gasps> it's the guy from the gas station. It's the blue shirt. The stripes. You're the girl from the gas station. Uh, hi. Thank you so much for stopping. What are you trying to do out here? I think my car just broke down. I can't call for help. You think I can get a ride? Why don't you just... Uh, just up the road, just the nearest stop where I can call for help. Go back to the gas station! Ugh. Hop in. Thanks so much. Could you wait till I get my stuff? Hurry up. Just throw it in the back. I won't be here for too long. It's an asshole. I mean, he doesn't want to be bothered, sure, but... Why not just literally drive me back to the gas station? Only had two hands. Oh, this is so dumb. All of my shit. Milo's gotta eat. Why would he wait for you to go back for three trips? Good lord, lady. <laughs> yeah, get that in there. My skateboard, my hat. Why can't you wear the hat? Put the skateboard on top so like it's gonna hurt it. Or use it to cart your shit over there. Are we just gonna leave our car open like that? Hurry up, I need to get moving. I'm done. Finally, now hop in and be quick. Oh, this is such a bad idea. I would literally rather walk. Okay. So creepy. Doesn't say anything either. So you won't tell me who you are, where you're going? I'd rather not say if that's okay. I really, I live really close from here. I was driving home. Uh, yeah, none of your beeswax. If you say so. I mean, we don't live close to here. Um, we're six hours away. Uh, and driving home. I mean, I guess I could say I'm driving home. You're really lucky I had to be on this side of town tonight. Yes. I must say, you are one brave young woman. What's that supposed to mean? You got any clue what happened to your car back there? I think it was the battery. It's an old car. Probably the battery. Are you sure? It's my dad. It's pretty old. He's gonna be like, the ghost fucked it up. The Norwood monster. So, what did you think about what he told you back at the gas station? I didn't listen to a single word. He really creeped me out. He's funny. Uh, I don't want to say I didn't listen, because that sounds shitty. I don't want to say he's funny, either, because... It wasn't like a funny haha -ha story, but I also don't want to say he creeped me out because then that would like kind of imply that I'm vulnerable to scary stories, you know what I mean? Um Yes, he's funny. Interesting. Idiot tells that story to every person traveling down here. Huh. Well, that's good. Oh, so we can chat now. We can like chit chat freely. Can okay, check the back seat? So is it true? What, the monster? Let's see, I've never seen the monster for myself, but there are... 
there are some things. And I'm afraid your car breaking down could have been one of them. Hey, listen, I don't want to sound like that moron, but I just remember this. You don't bo you don't bother them and you don't be bothered. Interesting. The like increments that they break it up in is very creepy. You know, I'm sorry for being a jerk to you before. I'm not the best with people. All right, that's that's fair. Also, it's the middle of the night. Oh, fade to black. Twelve o eight a.m. After a bit of small talk, he dropped me by a motel. Oh, good. Apparently, they offered roadside assistance. Besides, I thought I could use a little rest. Be careful, there are all kinds of people out there, he said ominously before leaving. Yeah, no shit. Well, thank you for the ride. That was actually very nice of him. And he turned out not to be a murderer, so that's good. A motel is good, and there's a tow truck here, so that's that's amazing. Not approved for occupancy, what the fuck? Oh, God. This is the Bates Motel, is it? Oh, Lord. The man was putting out the creepiest vibes imaginable. <laughs> yeah. A motel in the middle of nowhere, you bet. Gal need a room to shack up for the night? How much is it for a room? I'm only going to be here for a few hours. $40 for single. $40? Are you fucking joking? Pay cash only. I mean, alright. Number nine, right over there. $90, Tommy will take care of it the next thing in the morning. Why do I pay you? Shouldn't I pay Tommy? Good, I'll let Tommy know. And one last thing. Of course. Try not to wake the other guests. They might not take very nicely to it. Okay, it is a motel, just so you know. Ugh. Number nine! Let me guess, I only have two hands. Where is number nine? Do I gotta open the door or what? There's one? Okay. And then what's over here? It's probably the furthest possible away, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Probably over here. <gasps> we have service! Thank goodness. Can I go get my shit? What do you mean? Uh, where did you reach? Why are you not picking up the call? Where, what do you mean reroute? Dad, I'll have to stay by a motel tonight. Not messaged. Okay. Um, Holly? Hey, where are you? Your dad's calling me. No service. But if I got... If I got messages for a second, I had service for a second, I would be the one, I'd be like, going every step trying to get like, like a single bar. Wouldn't this asshole have a phone? That I could borrow to call? Like a landline? Can I pick up my stuff? No? Can't pick up my stuff. Okay. I ran over here for no reason. I'm just gonna leave it on the doorstep of the creepy dude? Okay. Alright, no. Oh my god, there's no fucking bed. Well, we're not gonna be here very long. Why would we not grab our stuff? Doesn't make any sense. Open everything. Check everything. <laughs> What are you doing here? You scared the crap of me. I should be asking you. 
I'm Tommy, room service here at the roadway inn. The finest stopover in Norwood. He's cleaning then. You know, cleaning stuff. The guy at the front desk gave me this room. <laughs> I'm just gonna have to ask you to step outside while I make the room. I'll just get my stuff. He's the guy who fixes the fucking car too, right? Can I use, use the phone? Phone's dead too. Ugh. Cre what the fuck is he doing in here? Well, I know what he's doing, but like, mm. this is bad vibes all around. Only got two arms, right? Ugh. I can put a hat. Put wear the fucking hat. Put the dog food under. You know what I mean? Like, th there's. So those are these carts, but I suppose they probably make a racket. Oh, look, the bed's clean. <laughs> I'm not a fan of this. He's gonna. Uh, I just wouldn't leave my crap around. You know what I mean? It aggravates the shit out of me that. She would just leave her stuff around. Leave her stuff with this guy. Leave it on the floor. Ugh. He was watching me. I am not this girl. Ugh. The fact that it has to be three trips every time, too. Oh boy. Okay, here's all my shit. You can leave my fucking room now. Had a word with Joe about the situation. What is wrong with these people? Mercy, mercy, mercy. But don't you worry. It's safe here. I go get your car. And also, the room's phone is not working. If you need anything, just ask the front desk. Yeah, of course. We've been trying to get it fixed, but we haven't been seeing enough guests lately. <laughs> but you have a good night. Fuck you too. Can I lock the door? Oh, don't do that. Lock the door. TV. Of course the phone doesn't work. Ugh. See to crouch just like the other one. Oh. And just stay here awake till the morning. What kind of Bates Motel shit was he doing in here? Check for holes in the walls. <laughs> Ugh, so creepy. I guess they want me to watch TV or something. Up in the sky. Oh, it's a bird. It's a plane. It's Superman. That's awesome. What do you want me to do? No service. Well, this is not good. Yep. Do I have to go to the front desk and see if I can call? Probably. I would just stay put until morning, but you know what? We're gonna go exploring with a bunch of creepy dudes around. Do you have a working phone? Right over there, room number nine it is. Yes, okay, I got that. Maybe we just go to bed? Where did he disappear to? Not that it matters. So creepy! 
Okay, do we just go to bed? Just go to bed. Why is it wiggly? Am I tripping out? <gasps> Why wouldn't you put your blinds up? Call it foresight, but there was something very off about that place. Yeah, no shit. I couldn't shake the feeling that something wasn't right. Oh. The tiredness was overcoming my, my anxiety. A hot cup of coffee could help, I thought to myself. No. How about we don't leave the room until morning? <laughs> I slept with the dog food on my bed. Ugh, oh, this is such a bad fucking idea. I know. Why don't I go out into the night by myself? And go to the vending machine all the way across a dark and creepy parking lot. What's the worst that could happen? With the guy that was totally just looking in my window, by the way. Does this coffee have any coffee? Increases my sprint speed. Oh. Absolutely. Oh yeah, look at me. I can run now. Absolutely. Ah, there it is. Coffee machine. Espresso? Fuck yeah. Consuming these helps you stay awake. So I got increased sprint speed and then I stay awake for longer. What happened? What the hell? <gasps> oh no, I'm drugged. Oh no. Everything's inverted. Oh no, up is down and left is right. Oh my god, that's so bad. I can't read anything. Go back to my room. This is really bad. Fuck. Oh, this is bad. Oh, it's so wonderful. It's so fucked up. Cause they, you can tamper with stuff in the vending machines cause it has to go in there first. All you have to do is get it open and then replace the stuff in it or tamper with it. That's so fucked up. 3.18 a.m. I was sedated. Oh my god. This is a nightmare. And my phone worked? <gasps> Leave the room. Oh my god, I'm still fucked up. It's probably locked. Didn't feel safe going out. Oh my god, well then... Fuck. <gasps> Who is it? Joe from desk, open the door. No, you don't need to be in my room. The other guy's in the, my fucking room.
You can talk to me through the door. I have to open the door? What do you want? He's gonna come from behind me and they're gonna gang up on me. Didn't I specifically tell you not to wake anyone up? I have complaints. What are you making all those goofy noises for? Whatever it is, just keep it down, miss. Is that why your eyes are all red? Wrench in the coffee machine. Are you messing with me? We don't have no coffee machine over here. Okay, okay. Here, I've had enough of your crazy goons out here. For once, I thought we had a sober guest, but I guess I'm the crazy one here. I hate my job. We're gonna take him to the fucking co- Oh my god, what about the guy in my closet? If we don't have a coffee machine... Oh, this is so fucked. That means that it was planted there by somebody. Then it, it has to be planted by Tommy, the fucking... The cleaner dude. The repair, the repair guy. It's gone. How did we even know it was here? Like, we were over there. Maybe we would have seen it, I guess, but... Where is it now? It was here. What happened? Show me your coffee machine now. Go back to the room. I swear to god it was here. What is it? What happened? For some reason his demeanor completely changed. Oh. There's fucking in on it together, which is what I thought from the start. I said go back now. Ugh. They're fucking in on it together. There should be some medication in your room. That should offer some relief. Check the table by the TV. Fuck that! Are you kidding? How stupid am I? Just drink some water. Drink tap water at that point. And this gas hole's in my room. Oh. Can I just sit in my bed? I didn't close the door, damn. Not that it matters, because this asshole's in my room. Ugh. Why am I gonna take unknown medication? Absolutely not. Oh my god. Requires water? Fuck no! Why? Why am I so incredibly dumb? Of course he's not in my room anymore. Ugh, I hate this. Ugh. Just take some unknown medication. Don't even check what it is. Jeez Louise. This is so stressful. What's all my shit? Mm. <gasps> Oh my fucking god. My lord, lock your door, woman. Oh, I hate this so much. Still drugged. Hello. Fuck off. Mm-mm. I'm tripping so serious. 
Mm -mm. Turn on TV. Nice. We're just gonna listen to the TV. No. Oh my god, he's at the fucking door. Please open the door. I need help. What do you want? I need your help. Please, please open the door. No, fuck you. We're gonna listen to Superman. We're gonna chill. I know you're in there. Yeah, I'm in there, so fuck off. Please leave. I just need to talk. I swear I'm not a cop. Go away or I'm going to call the cops. Pretty lady. Oh, fuck. This is the dumbest place to hide, by the way. <gasps> oh, fuck. To this day, I find it really weird that the manager interfered not to get the police involved as it would have affected the motel's reputation and let go of the situation. I believe that the town could have been home to a cult or a drug ring or possibly something even worse. Tommy arrived with the car after what felt like a year. I never went on long road trips again. I would always take airplanes. That's it? Ooh. That was awful. And I mean awful situation. Like the game was good, but oh my god. I hated every bit of that. That's like my worst nightmare. Not my worst nightmare, but just like that's such a Oh. You know what I don't like about these? Is that they're common situations, right? Like this could easily happen to somebody. I just wouldn't Oh my god. There's a lot of things, I mean, you could tell there's a lot of things I wouldn't do in that situation, but I mean, the guy that breaks in, hiding in the closet is not the best idea because, like, there's only one place to hide. If the manager hadn't come in and, like, beat that guy who was gonna beat me, like, or worse, right, take advantage of me, like, what would you have done? What could you have done, right? Like, you know, if you're hiding in a closet, there's nowhere else to go. You know, if he's in the bathroom, maybe, like, run out the front door and run away or something. But, like, you're in the middle of nowhere. There's nowhere to run to. There's no service, even though we got, like, a couple of messages here and there. Coffee machine's really weird to me. Like, that guy went in our room, um, and before the manager came, he could have just put it away and then, like, hid the machine and then came to our room to be like, stop making noise. And then, why on earth would we take, like pills that are just laying around you don't know how old they are you don't know what they are like even if it says what it says on the bottle doesn't mean that it could be what it is like it could easily they could lie it could be fucking worse like something to knock you out out instead of just like drugged and fuck up weird oh Ugh. i want like a shower now like oh i hate that everything about that crazy that poor girl and my heart goes out to the people that had to survive these situations. All right, well, that's, that's, mm-hmm. These are some games. I think I really like Fears to Fathom just because 
of the realisticness of them. I appreciate that nothing happens in them, but and and, and knowing that all these people survived, which is how we got the story, um, helps a little bit. But you kind of forget that when you're in the scenario. They do a really good job of putting you in the shoes of the person and being scared of what could happen. And with these, it's even freakier as a game, in my opinion, because you have to do what they did, right? So you can't just like, oh, I'm not gonna leave my room. I'm just gonna lock my door and stay here till morning. Like you can't do that. You have to do what they did, which just, it makes it worse because you have to go out and venture out to do whatever it is that they had done. So instead of taking like the safer route or like you know any any other choices there like you just have to endure what they did and it does a good job of putting you in their shoes but it also does a good job of just ramping up the tension it just it gets prolonged like the games are so simple but you know something bad is gonna happen so these games do a really good job of really um setting the atmosphere and you know capitalizing on how creepy everything is and how everyday situations can become a tiny horror story and they do a really good job of that anyways if you guys want to see the next episode of fears to fathom it will be over here if you guys want to see some other things that are kind of similar on the channel it will be right here check out this video so stay safe guys and uh be fearful because fear tells you to run and that's what we gotta do because don't find yourself in a creepy motel and get uh, drugged and shit just just don't do that you know what i mean let's stay safe